lot of beans in here for a while. I think we'll ever meet any of the other people that get trapped down here. Where did they get the beans? That's what I've always wanted to know. Okay, unless there's a way to make that box do both things at once. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do. I, I told you I would make myself look retarded sooner or later. Frankly, I thought it would be later than this, but... No. Can we get... No. Well, crap! Duh. Congratulations. Not on the test. Most people emerge from suspension terribly undernourished. I want to congratulate you on beating the odds and somehow managing to pack on a few pounds. Ooh. Why is it whenever you finally figure these things out you feel like an idiot? It's actually worse than not noticing the answer. At least when you don't know the answer, you can say, ah, it's mad. It's just, like this really complicated answer I couldn't figure out. And when you One moment. Out, it's easy. One moment, what? What do you want? You are navigating these test chambers faster than I can build them. So feel free to slow down and do whatever it is you do when you're not destroying this facility. you credit. I guess you are listening to me. But for the record, you don't have to go that slowly. Waddle over to the elevator and we'll continue the testing. I didn't go that slowly. Thank you very damn much. Loading screen. How many of these are there? Like one every two or three levels? <laughs> Toke Cook. And for the 95, this is the I have no idea what it is. It's nasal stuff. It's about who you know. This next test involves the Aperture Science Aerial Faith Plate. It was part of an initiative to investigate how well test subjects could solve problems when they were catapulted into space. Results were highly informative. They could not. Good luck. They could not. That's informative to you. Boing. Nice. 
Okay, I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a block. And I'm gonna need to grab that, I guess. Aw, oh, man. This is gonna require, like, some timing. Gotcha! Haha! <laughs> I am awesome. Here's an interesting Sorry. fact. You're not breathing real in. It's too extensive to pump this far down. We just take carbon dioxide out of a room, freshen it up a little, and pump it back in. So you'll be breathing the same room full of air for the rest of your life. I thought that was interesting. That actually is interesting. It's actually pretty cool. I know from experience that fake air tastes much better. Full on, full on oxygen though, yeah that stuff is weird. Plus it'll kill you I think. You can die from oxygen overdose, right? Let's see what the next test is. Oh, advanced aerial faceplates. Well, have fun soaring through the air without a care in the world. I have to go to the wing that was made entirely of glass and pick up 15 acres of broken glass. By myself. 15 acres? Cool. I get to fly through here. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Um... Oh, that's what we got. We got Bouncy Bouncy... I think that one goes over there. You know what, there's only one way to find out. Boing! Boing! Through the air we go. That's pretty much what I was expecting. Oh, sorry. I'm still cleaning out the test chambers. So sometimes there's still trash in them. Standing around, smelling and being useless. Try to avoid the garbage hurtling towards you. Remember before when I was talking about smelly garbage standing around being useless? Yeah, shut up. That was a metaphor. I was actually talking about you. And I'm sorry. You didn't react at the time, so I was worried it sailed right over your head. Which would have made this apology seem insane. That's why I had to call you garbage a second time just now. Yeah, huh. Did you know that people that with guilty knowledge? consciences are more easily startled by loud noises? I'm sorry, I don't know why that went off. Anyway, just an interesting science fact. Did I accidentally fizzle that before you could complete the test? I'm sorry. Go ahead and grab another one. Are you gonna do it again? Oh, no. I fizzled that one too. Oh well. We have warehouses full of the things. Absolutely worthless. 
I'm happy to get rid of them. Every test chamber is equipped with an emancipation grill at its exit, so that test subjects cannot smuggle test objects out of the test area. This one is broken. Don't take anything with you. That sounds like a challenge to me. that damn fireplace in the police station that says this fireplace is useless and that makes you try to use it it's like you're lying to me this next test involves emancipation grills remember I told you about them in the last test area that did not have one The turbines again. I have to go. Wait, this next test does require some explanation. Let me give you the fast version. There. If you have any questions, just remember what I said in slow motion. Test on your own recognizance. I'll be right back. You know, I just recorded that. I bet I could, if there is actual words in there, I can slow it down and find out what she said. Anybody else curious? I am very curious. I want to see if she said anything real. Hold on, I'm going to check that file. And the lovely mocking people that's all. Then I am not on. Get to see as soon as I can. And her thoughtfully mocking people's hats off, then I am high time and get to see as soon as I can. And her thoughtfully mocking people's hats off, then I am high time and get to see as soon as I can. Alright, doors open. Man, listening to, I listened to that thing dozens of times trying to get the best quality of it. It's actually kind of messing with my head. I'm glad to be talking to myself now because it was starting to creep me out. You know how if you listen to the same thing in slow motion over and over and over, it becomes creepy no matter what it is? And when it was already creepy, it becomes really creepy? Nobody's even going to be happy that I did this for me. I'm going to do a separate video with just that, too. 